Hey guys, this is Phil with Camsey Citizen Summer. This video we're going to look at tensegrity sculptures. Pretty cool, huh? So, how do you think it works? Well, let's talk about that. When we start with our figure, as soon as we lift it into its stable position, there are equal and opposite forces which cancel each other out to prevent the shape from moving. There is a downward force from gravity, and that is matched by the chain that connects the floating piece to the base. If we didn't have the other two chains here, the floating piece would want to fall over to the left. Think of it like a door, where our hinge is on the point where the chain connects, and everything rotates around that. So the lower left will feel a downward pull to the left, and the upper right hand will actually feel a pull up and to the left. But the pair of long chains, which are connected to the base, pull it downward and slightly to the right and keep the floating piece from falling. All of our arrows cancel each other out, and so our shape is stable. So let's make our own. First we're going to start off with six popsicle sticks. And what we're going to do with these six popsicle sticks is we are going to glue them with hot glue to make two triangles. You don't have to be super fancy about it, but here's one, and we're going to make our second, boom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a, two more popsicle sticks and we're going to cut off the very bottom of it at a little bit of an angle. You can see this will allow us to put it so it goes over the center of the piece. We want to cut a small notch, either with an X-Acto blade or scissors, and we'll be using this to attach the top to the bottom piece. So now we're going to take our two angled pieces and we're going to hot glue them. The first one I want to glue into the middle of one side of the triangle, and the other one will be onto the point. This will allow us to connect them. And we're going to connect them with string. So first what we're going to do is we are going to tie the string around what we'll call the bottom of each triangle. So we're going to tie this around each corner, and this is going to give us our structural integrity. This is going to be the part that keeps the shape from falling over. Put a little hot glue there just to make sure it's extra secure. And we're going to do this on all three sides. Once we've done that, find about where you want your top to be laid out. And you're going to take the string from one corner and you're going to feed it up through and you're going to pull it tight at the height that you want it. Once you've got it at that height, as seen here, you're going to take a little bit of hot glue and tack it in place. The tacking is just so that we can do our next step, which is to tie a knot in the string. We always want to tie a knot in the string because hot glue can give out. Hot glue isn't great. If you want to use super glue, that's even better. That'll keep it tight. So once we have all three corners tightened, we can see here I'm tightening up the last string, and I'm just making sure that all three corners are equally tight before I tack that last corner with some hot glue and tie it into place. Next, we're going to get ourselves some red thread. This is just because I want it to be a little bit more visual. And we're going to cut a loop, and I'm going to tie it into a knot. Now the reason why we want this little loop here is because we're going to stick it in that notch, if you remember from our original uh, cut. So put the loop over one of the notches and then feed it through your structure and into the notch of the base piece. And what we're going to do here, and I apologize that my hands got in the way of it, we are going to pull on that red thread just until everything's tight. So we want to get everything lined up and then pull until it's tight. You can see here it's starting to wiggle around. Now to keep that there, I'm going to put a little tack of hot glue onto the string just to hold it in place because what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to take that string 
going to tack the bottom with hot glue as well, just so that doesn't move around while I'm tying it. And we're going to take that red string that's going through the bottom piece, and I'm just going to tie a knot. Again, when we're using hot glue, it's great for putting things in place, but we really want to use knots and maybe some super glue to make sure. Now all I need to do is tack that in place just so it doesn't slide around and trim up any loose ends that I have. And there you have it, an amazing floating tensegrity sculpture. The way this works is that it doesn't matter which orientation we have it, all of the strings are going to be pushing and pulling against each other so that it stays upright. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.